वॉचिंग डिवाइन नॉलेज divine light that is where vlog number 2 ended now one thing is for sure whoever is in the course or maybe on the path towards divinity they will basically end up seeing the divine light not end up but that's the just the beginning of it now it all varies it all varies on person to person on mystic to mystic on a sufi till a sage or maybe end up as a wise man it all depends who it is and the other main thing as i mentioned earlier it depends on which god does he believe in because we cannot say ke one religion is restricted to divine light no doesn't work like that it varies on the gods or god you believe in or maybe the path you are walking because the path you are walking that is based on your belief system the ones who believe in the oneness the singularity the muslims the oneness of god the oneness of allah there is no god but allah illa allah basically they will see the light and this divine light is not seen as flood lights or maybe the street light no this is something that basically uh, transcends on your thoughts it transcends on your thoughts and generates a light which you can see with you start seeing with this with we will talk about on the later stages <clears throat> when this transcends or s- or basically you move towards the light the muslims the what who believe in oneness of god they will basically try to get absorbed or would put in the effort to be absorbed by the light to be absorbed by the light because one thing that uh, basically everyone knows about uh, the muslims hold the holy book which is the holy quran and that is the last script from the skies above there is no other script coming after that so their basically area of absorption is much higher you know if you can put it down they have a higher rate of getting absorbed or maybe they have a more uh, what do you call it uh, uh, they want to be absorbed this is how it works they want to be absorbed now the other thing is when we come to the other religions if we go to the religion that is the oldest religion known to mankind and that is hinduism in hinduism if they see the light they will start chanting they will start chanting and this will happen uh, not by their own will but by their you can't say perception of thought but it will it will be a spontaneous act because their beliefs are such they believe in that because uh, the one of the oldest yogic techniques or you can put it down as meditational techniques or maybe the chanting that comes from the hindu religion 
they will try to pull the light or maybe go to the light through their practice or ritual in christianity they will open their arms because they have angelic powers that's why one thing i mentioned earlier in the program that basically the churches are high raised because uh, they believe in the presence of angels and when you start believing in the presence of angels that's what you're going to find that's one thing in the uh, holiness of any god whatever you look for whatever you are a seeker for you will find that that's the law of nature and in judaism or being a jew they will research they will think how come they will start to try to understand the light now this is not a hard and fast rule but these are the rules which uh, i have seen within my family and uh, i can say one thing here my beliefs or my family beliefs may vary from other people but that's everyone's own thought school of thought where they've been brought up our school of thought varies from everyone we we think of everything is in oneness of god oneness of almighty the creator now the thing is that when one person touches the light or the light absorbs him because you can only touch the light you can't absorb you can't get absorbed by the light you have not got that uh, what do you call it that power your reach reach is in our language is called parvas your reach is not such that you can reach out to the light but the light can absorb you if you get absorbed you will learn things in your perceptions in your perception now when we say perception that is it might be a luminous thought or might be a very erratic thought erratic thought you will think out of the box you will start to know things that usually normal people wouldn't know and uh, you will you will have your own belief system within your own soul you will start believing in things in a very different way the world will think differently and your thought process will be entirely out of the box well in some cases you won't even know where the box is you will forget about the box you will not find out where the box is you will go far beyond that but that is only if you get absorbed or maybe you touch the light or something like that the light changes everything once the person sees the light everything changes you start to because of that light because as in the earlier program uh, i think vlog 1 it was i had mentioned that the light any light has a power to burn basically it basically it penetrates it has a uh, what do you call it a quality to get penetrated it can penetrate and if it becomes very strong so then what happens it will burn when this light penetrates or absorbs or maybe burn you will start to learn things now people think that learning things is the knowledge of knowing that's a very common thing that's the first stage of every perception of thought in divinity that you start to know things basically because you you have touched a source based light that has its own velocity that has its own velocity because nobody knows what velocity that light travels on we know the worldly light because we stay in this place so we have a measurement system but nobody knows in fact nobody nobody means nobody has written about this thing nobody knows about it even the great sages the wise men even they haven't mentioned anything that what speed what is the velocity of that light how how overpowering it is 
yes we know it is overpowering but how much is there any measurement for that no nobody can measure that light but the thing is that it holds it holds its own velocity and the other thing is it has a reach which for us is unreachable but the light is reaching us the light is reaching us we cannot reach that light no parvas i'm talking about in our language the word is parvas we cannot reach that light but the light reaches us and it has its own velocity so it's basically unmeasurable we can even words are not enough but alongside all of this one thing is we as humans we we can say the holiness has selected a few people who can see the light who absorb the light who basically do research from that light who learn from that light who gain the knowledge of knowing from that light and eventually if they have the power or maybe the absorption power of absorption they can become a beacon of that light and then help mankind because remember one thing a lot of people talk about various things and they basically there's a loads of books about human mankind and things like these and serving humanity and whatever the most biggest thing one can do for any god is serving his creation what he has created that's what everyone does if you look at the sufis the mystics the the spiritualists or maybe the sages or maybe the wise men even they did did one thing and that was serving nature and that is by serving his creation but one thing that we need to understand or maybe understand in a way that we cannot understand or it's a question which we need we to know the answer is what is the ultimate of seeing that light is that it we see the light and we start doing what we are doing write books write about god write about things start knowing things but a lot of people know things even without seeing the light they talk about things they write books they learn things they talk about the gods this is a question this is a question and it's a very important and valid question why is it ending on the creation that everyone is just serving them maybe the few mystics or maybe the sages or the ones that <laughs> could not uh, uh, basically absorb the light or maybe for the world they are not wise in their time well after they they passed away they became wise everyone understood yes he is the wise man he has seen god he has seen the light he has felt the light and i will talk about these things felt the light as well how do you feel when you feel the light how do you feel when you feel the light yes that's what i was saying but the main thing here is ki why does it why does everything end on the creation why isn't it something different why isn't there anything different we listen to things we hear things but the end is the creation i will close it here but uh, i would like to say one thing before i go all the prophets that came all the sages that came all the wise came they basically served the creation help nature in doing his job basically they became a beacon of light on this soil on this earth and then they helped god in serving mankind in his creation but that's not the end that's that's just the lesson we learn from it but the light tells us a different story the light is a different story and the light tells us a different story 
where the light comes that's a different place it's not from the in, in our language it's called ye jahan aur wo jahan every jahan is in this place where we are in our perception if you believe in something it is there if you don't believe in it it becomes non existent it's it's a, i'll give you i'll give a very uh, a l- common man example everyone sees even i can see i can see whatever i'm seeing the camera the laptop the mouse what am i looking at that is the main thing in this divinity and divine light what am i looking at that makes the difference and it depends on person to person next we log we will talk about these things and uh, i would like to thank everyone for uh, watching my videos and uh, make sure everyone does subscribe to this channel and uh, see you all in the next we log and thank you very much for watching and make sure you do share this link if you have the time thank you very much bye bye